Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. This video comes to you from a Western Kentucky field where a 370 engine horsepower John Deere 8370RT track tractor is planting corn with a 60 foot wide John Deere 1775 NT 24 row corn planter. In this video, we're going to take a look at this tractor's production history, specifications, and original price tag, as well as taking a ride up in the cab of the tractor to see the operator's perspective of planting corn with this track tractor. But first, let's head out to the field so you can see and hear all this corn planting action. As the tractor and planter work their way across the field, we can see that this is a no-till crop. That means that there's no primary tillage on this field in the fall and no secondary tillage in the spring. The surface of the field is left untouched. We can see the planter is putting the seeds in the ground here in these 30-inch rows. It just deposits them about an inch and a half to two inches is typical, while the residue is left on the surface to help prevent erosion, add organic matter back into the soil. This was a double crop soybean field, so last summer in June, winter wheat was harvested on the field, then soybeans were no-tilled directly behind the combine. We can see that soybean stubble and the bean straw also mixed in here. So good conditions for planting, and always great to see this big equipment at work putting the new corn crop in the ground. The 8370RT tractor is part of John Deere's second generation of RT series track tractors, which also includes the model 8320RT and 8345RT. These twin track tractors were manufactured at the company's Waterloo, Iowa tractor factory from model year 2014 through mid-model year 2020 when they were replaced by the third generation of RT series tractors. The 8370RT tractor is powered by a 9 liter 548 cubic inch John Deere Powertech PSS 6 cylinder diesel engine rated at 370 engine horsepower. The tractor also offers 308 PTO horsepower and can achieve 407 horsepower when the tractor encounters tough field conditions that it needs to power through. 
The E370RT came from the factory with a standard IVT or infinite variable transmission which can achieve speeds up to 26 miles per hour without shifting. This tractor could also be ordered with a John Deere E23 power shift transmission which can achieve speeds up to 31 miles per hour. The tractor is fitted with a 200 gallon diesel fuel tank and a 6.7 gallon diesel emission fluid tank for clean engine solutions. The R in the tractor's model number stands for a premium model. T is for tracks. The tractor could be ordered with 16 inch, 18 inch, 24 inch, 25 inch, or 30 inch wide tracks. This machine weighed in from the factory at 36,549 pounds and could be field weighted up to 44,000 pounds. The original price tag of a John Deere 8370RT tractor, according to JohnDeere.com, was $345,900. I'm up in the cab of the John Deere 8370RT and it is operating the 24 row John Deere 1775 NT Exact Emerge. The tractor has a nice layout. It's running at just over six miles per hour here with the planner. It uses the John Deere IVT transmission, which gives it seamless shifting and allows it just to cruise right across the field. And that's just a matter of pushing forward if you want to speed up or pulling back to slow down. Let's see, we've got a nice view of the planter out the back. The tractor's using John Deere's Green Star and that allows it to use auto guidance to make a perfect 60 foot pass across the field. We can see the farmer doesn't have to steer the steering wheel until we reach the headland and then he'll take over and turn the tractor around. See, the tractor has a nice turning radius and the tracks don't burn very much at all in the headland on this 60 foot turn. And then with the push of a button, it goes right back onto the auto guidance for that next pass. You might notice that the 8RT is set up a little different than the 8R. It has this catwalk to enter the cab on the side that goes over the track. Typically this tractor as a wheeled machine would have a mirror right up here, but on the two-track model, the mirror is down there on the handrail. We can see the, the belts, and then it has the mirror on the opposite side where the operator have visibility of the implement in the back. you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field with and up in the cab of the John Deere 8370RT track tractor planting corn with the 24 row John Deere 1775 
NT. I'd like to hear in the comment section below this video what your planting team is. Tell me about the tractor and planter that you're running this spring to put in your crops, whether they're row crops or small grains. If you've enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there's over 2,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you would like to see more content of Big Tractors in action here on the channel, continue to watch for a few more seconds of the end screen for a direct link to more Big Tractor Power YouTube videos. As always, thank you for watching.